In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups, the one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These are the stories. Hello. Where is everyone? I guess people forgot about me. <laughs> Uh-oh. I might have to move. I don't know if this is private property or not. I'm kind of confused. Okay, so I'm in this little driveway. And then there's a fence that says no trespassing. So does that mean no trespassing before the fence or after? <sighs> I'm kind of nervous and overwhelmed, so... And I have to let a little chin free. I can't, I feel claustrophobic. I don't even know where to start. Like I'm gone seven days and or eight days or however many days. And my life has like changed so much that I don't even know where to start. I have so many stories I wanted to tell you guys. I'm like, when something happens in my life, I'm like, I have to tell them this. Like being away made me realize like you guys are my support system. Hi everybody. <laughs> I need to let a little bit of my chin out. Well, yeah, I'm in the Kia. No, so I'll let me take the, it doesn't, does the Kia look like, no, it's not white. Hi. I am literally jet lagged. I know people laugh and use that as like a euphemism for being high. No, holy crap, that's creepy. I'm just like literally so tired and my body is so battered from this trip. I am going nuts. Yeah, I have new glasses. So, you know, I did the prescription, right? Like I went to the eye doctor last time I was in Canada, but then I left without getting glasses. They're super expensive here. So before I left, so I was like, give me your prescription for your glasses. I'm going to go and get you glasses. And I was like, no, we don't, we don't, that's not a priority. <laughs> and even though I'm driving, yeah, I've got, it's much better. Right? I'm like, why haven't I gotten these sooner? So he went and got glasses for me before I headed out. I just, uh, this, the key is all set. It got, has new brakes, has like $2,000 worth of work on this baby. I feel like I'm in a new car. I love this Kia. Let's never fight. I have so much to talk about. I, I was bees, hexy, I know. Okay. So am I in a private spot? All right. You were so worried. Well, let me tell you what happened. Yeah, this is a new dress. Like the minute I decided to come back to Canada, I was like, I'm going on Penningtons.com. All right, let's get some clothes because like I need Canada clothes, you know? So this is like a dress, but it's so cool. It's going to be nice and cool. So I got a strike on my channel. And uh, at first I was like, what the F? You know, I was like pissed off. I was like, I have a strike on my, and I was like, what, what? You know? But then like, I saw like the post that I made, like I deleted it, but it's about the, po it was for the post that, you know, that I made about that Kalani lady. So at first I was mad and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, because I was responding to, I was triggered as usual, but that's my problem to be triggered. But anyway, I was triggered because I saw parts of a video on Yo Mama's live stream about her. And she was like, you know, calling me heifer and that my husband wouldn't touch me. So I, you know, said some nasty things back. So, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I got caught for it. I think it's weird that, you know, that YouTube doesn't you know keep the same energy for some other channels that swear and all that but what i said was really nasty so you know what i'm like fine I, what i did was wrong i'll take the hit i'll take the l you know what i think it's a sign from god or from whatever the universe whatever you want to believe that i needed that break like this break has been amazing for me and i know that's going to annoy you and it's going to make people mad but it was so amazing the 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 break was awesome you know so yeah i was like yeah you know what? i was nasty like, doesn't matter if I'm being nasty back, whatever. I'm like, I'm the, my point is, like, I need to just ignore these people and really just bees. Focus on beesing, focus on, and I missed you guys so much. Like, you guys are my support system. I realize that in a lot of ways. Like, I have to just try to make it in a healthy, in a healthy way. Like, um, so yeah, I have to be positive because you know what? YouTube is a popularity contest. A lot of people don't like me. So any little way they can, obviously they're going to report me, right? Especially if I do something that um, goes against terms of service. And if I get caught, that's like, is it worth risking my entire channel? for going after every little like people who are saying like that I'm a pig you know like no I needed to check my behavior it's like ruining my mental health everything so basically this this break was amazing and I made a very big decision to um move back to, to Canada and honestly if I had my way and I was rich I would probably bounce back and forth all the time no you're not you know what I wouldn't this journey <laughs> let me tell you this one of the stories okay I want to tell you one of the stories of the horrors of being on the plane this time I normally fly with Qatar Airways or Emirates. I, I know I'm like, I only fly with Qatar. No, but there's a reason. All right. This time I decided, you know what? Hey, if I go with Qatar or Emirates, I'm on the plane for 13 hours straight because the transfer is only an hour of flight in Qatar. Quit to Qatar, then 13 hours, Canada, Montreal. But if I try a different route where Lufthansa, which is a German airline, I booked, I, I, so I, I went from Kuwait to Frankfurt on Lufthansa. I had an almost three hour layover in Frankfurt and then I had to 
Air Canada. But they were both Airbus A330s, which, you know, they're not the Boeing Max. So I was just happy about that. Basically, I thought, okay, I'm going to break it in half. It's not as bad. My body won't be as bad. Or, oh, I didn't like Lufthansa. Oh, my gosh. It's not terrible, okay? But, like, I found the staff was not that friendly. They were more snappy. Um, the food was... Okay, here's the food, okay? So on the first flight, they gave me... They give you a sandwich. It's, like, this long, okay? They give you a sandwich, and it's their vegetarian sandwich. A vegetarian sandwich? And so I'm like, okay, like literally that's how the attendant talked, a vegetarian sandwich. So I took it, it had cream cheese, okay? The cream cheese, I don't know, mess with my gut. So that's digesting. By the time I get to the second leg of my, you know, the Air Canada, I'm like, please don't let anyone sit beside me. Please don't let anyone sit beside me. And I like, I was literally praying, like, please don't let anyone sit beside me. Well, this guy comes bouncing down the, wa the, the, the walkway, sits right beside me, and he's listening to super loud music, like dance hall music. I don't know if you know what dance hall is. I'm so sure someone is. He sits down. Okay, whatever. I slept most of the flight. He ordered wine. You get like complimentary little bottles of wine on Air Canada. He ordered wine and he spilt red wine on my clothes twice. So I smelled like a bottle of booze. I have to let up some gin. Sorry. Okay. So that's when the sandwich starts hurting my stomach. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gurgling. For some reason, the cream cheese or something in that sandwich gave me the ultimate gas. It was the probably the worst gas attack I ever had in my life. And we're like, the, the captain was like, okay, we have 20 minutes left till landing. Because, you know, landing is a whole process. They got to go down, 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 down. There's like a gaggle of geese having an orgy in the background. And I'm freaking out. Listen. Yep. And I'm like, okay, I can hold it. Because I'm not about to go. Because, you know, when you're landing, they say, okay, the, lock, the, the bathrooms are going to be locked. I couldn't go. I had to go. Like, I had to go number two. I had to go. You know what I mean? And I, and I have no gallbladder. So I'm like, well, wait for landing. So we land. And then you know how you have to wait to deplane? Okay. It takes forever to deplane. The, everyone's just standing there, like, waiting for them to, to open the door. I'm like, yes, I'm going to get to go. I'm, like, clenching hard. I need to go. Then we're all standing up. I go, go grab my luggage from the overhead bin. And the guy's like, okay, everyone sit back down because immigration is coming on board. And I was like, what? No, no they're going to, like, investigate people. Why do you have to hold up the whole plane to investigate one person trying to get into Canada? You know? And, like, I'm like, oh, no, I can't make it. I'm so sick from this sandwich. And, like, oh, my gosh. I couldn't hold it. I was like, I couldn't hold Like, I'm like, I can't. Anyway, somehow miraculously I did. They would check our passport. Like, they check everyone's passports. So that's the story on that. So now being in Canada, I'm moving here. I can't stand the summer in Kuwait. It's bad for my health. Um, I need free health care. I need free health care. Because even no matter what my visa status would be there, I don't want to talk about that, but it would be expensive. So just think of, make whatever you want of that. If you want to think that I have this visa, that visa doesn't matter. It's okay. Fine. Whatever. But it is expensive. <laughs> Just say that. Okay. I'm not divorced. I'm still with Salah. I'm taking things day by day and letting, leaving, honestly, this, you know, you're going to think it's cringe, but I'm leaving it up to God. Like, I'm just going to control what I can control in my life and not worry so much. So like, because like, honestly, when I'm dead, the anxiety, the, what I'm worried about won't matter. Honestly, when you, I don't know, I just, I have to worry about myself. I am definitely getting an apart. Like I, I need to get my own setup here. So I need to set up everything, which means I have to like get everything from scratch. Like I'm not rich. Like I, we are okay. Like we do fine. Like we were able to like, you know, everything, fix the car, um, get me here, which was like crazy. It was a cheaper though on those two flights, but I, I'm never going to compromise. This. I can't, it's too, Air Canada is really good though. Air Canada. The only thing is they don't have personalized vents. I was almost dying. I'm also getting Sam back. I'm also getting Sam back. I'm getting Sam back when I get my place. The foster lady. I like, after all, she had a cat before Sam, an older cat. And he doesn't really like Sam. I thought they were getting along, but no. You know what? No, I'm not worried about, I'm not going to worry about that. Like, I have my trust in him, renewed trust. I said I would do it, like, trust. Like, and, you know, like, I'm just going to live life. Like, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not going to stress about that. I'm not going to, there's nothing I can do. I don't have a, I'm not a fly on the wall over there. I can't live my life distrusting somebody you know like i can't waste that energy um if i ever learn of something that's different i'll deal with it but i'm not gonna no i'm gonna focus on myself yeah i just there's a lot of things i, I miss like that i didn't think i would ever miss when i first moved to kuwait and when i got here i was like very patriotic i was like canada but a lot of people on the plane were looking out and they were like you could tell they missed canada like you get homesick but i also now i miss kuwait a lot too because when you're you ingrain yourself in a culture for a year and a half or however long i was there it's like you know and my i miss julia and harry so bad like that's like no matter which country i'm in i have heartbreak because i miss my cats here and then i miss julia like her little face and her fishy breath Ooh. salah is a good cat dad i don't want to leave him like he genuinely genuinely looks sad at the thought of leaving julia inshallah he can come here yeah no i'm not here to renew my visa animals that move he used to half light he used to 
He was not an animal person. He was not raised with pets. He could care less about them before. He didn't hate them. Like, you know, he wouldn't hurt anything, but he fell in love with Julia. In love. Like, there's nothing about about 15 times a day. I oh, I, I'm like, are you harassing the cat again? Because he grabs her and holds her and just kisses her for like five minutes straight. And she doesn't persist, but she, you know how cats look whenever you hold them? They're like, do you hear the geese? Um, yes, of course I miss him. <laughs> All the time. No, Ramadan's not over. I didn't have to fast while I was traveling. And yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been doing that right now. Um, I'm religious. I don't care. Here's the thing. There's religion and there's culture. Okay. I'm Canadian, like blood wise. And we believe in the medicinal power of marijuana. So that's something I'm going to consider because, um, you know, I know it would be frowned upon by most Muslim people. But for me, it's like, I don't know. It's like medicine for me. I feel like having like a night when I get home, like whenever, you know, you, you do your whole day, be productive. And then later at night for a treat, like to relax, it's like medicine. Look, it helps with like, you know, the CBD and that can help with pain. I can't take too many more NSAIDs. Like my stomach is going to have a hole like this big inside it. But I'm still Muslim. I still believe in, in God. And like, how can I, you know, how can I just automatically, uh, you know what? You can stop believing. People switch all the time. People go through struggle. You know, I think religion is something very personal. You know, you guys, I know you guys are all happy because like this is the land of the bees. For the land of the bees. Oh, no, that's the American. The geese is getting on my nerves. Anyways, I was thinking as a celebration, let's go eat somewhere. But I'm going to come back live when I get there because <laughs> you know the rules. Oh, Canada, our home in bees England. True home of the bees. Imagine I'm getting King Beezer back and I'll never leave him again. Pretty soon he'll be strumming on a new counter. I can't go back to Kuwait. Yeah. Kuwait, look, I love Kuwait. And I do miss Salah like a lot. It's so hard being in a long distance marriage and for who who knows how long but this is like a sacrifice i have to make and it'll be a true test of our relationship too because you know like that long of distance no we'll see you know and i i'm here to like also i have to work on myself but i need a plan so on the 18th i have like a um therapy session but i'm like starting immediately because i have help from my family to like you know help me get in places and stuff i guess of course i miss him and i don't want to shit talk him like that's the only thing i ask let's just not talk about him you can have your opinions but just keep them to yourself like you know just he is my husband and you know it's important for me like a little bit of respect for that yeah someday he can visit but yeah someday he can visit but like for now i'm just i have to focus on me and you know beezing <laughs> he's gonna take care of the pets don't worry about them he's taking really good care of them and i like talk to him every day you know on video to see okay this is the pet situation you know because uh, what do i miss about him everything like just having that person there with you like i feel lonely i feel lonely and blue <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Hold on! I feel lonely and blue. You know that song? I want my MTV. I know it's hairs. That's the way you do it. To play the guitar on the MTV. I'm hyper as hell. I would just be in all the time, you know? In the summer, it's worse. I'm gonna be in. I cannot go outside. I will die there in the summer. So I have to go thrift shopping or something for all new house stuff dispensary bees no. we can dispensary bees whenever i get my own place you know i'm just driving around right now so a lot of driving so i want to be more clear headed i'm so tired well uh, like i have severe like i i slept like went to bed at 11 and woke up at 6 45 a.m anyway sorry about my tmi story about the plane but it was like literally bad for me and when we're in frankfurt my worst nightmare my anxiety the, the girl was like okay um we have a situation we have a full flight the horror biggest horror words ever full flight so they were asking people to volunteer to check in their um, carry-on luggage because we might not find room. And then the, <laughs> the first plane, the guy I had to sit with was a very tiny man. Like, he was not... I'm not making fun of people of size, like, sm um, what do, I don't know what you would say. You know, shorter people. I'm not making fun of them. But this guy, he wasn't, like, short, but he was really small. And he had a full beard. I don't know. Like, <laughs> anyway, he was like, can I sit here? And I was like... And I got mad. I was like, yes, you may. Um, I'm just going to go check if there's any other seats available. <laughs> and there were none, so I had to sit beside him. But he was fine. The good thing about sitting beside someone very small when you're fat is they have more room that you can encroach on. <laughs> Get a wheelchair, right? No more wheelchairs. Those are too much. Honestly. Okay, round two. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I, I, if it happens, it happens. I don't care. Whatever. I'm not going to worry my life about things. Reginald, feel the deposit fund. You finally seem like yourself again. Missed you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you know how expensive it is to like start up again? So every little bit helps. Like when your car breaks down, you have to move and you have to travel internationally. You have to buy things at the airport when you're traveling internationally, like a lot of fluids, which caught every time I would buy drinks at the airport, it was like 30 bucks. 
Set the chin free. That's why I'm doing a little bit of the chin. I can reveal a little bit of the chin. My car, like, it wasn't broke. It just had a lot of wear and tear. It had a lot of things wrong, like, not a lot of things wrong with it, but it needed a lot of maintenance, like, regular maintenance, because it was, especially the brakes, they were, like, close to 2,000. I'm not getting, it was, like, all, okay, if I called a regular mechanic who's known to be, like, fair price, blah, 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 because they always say the dealership's scamming you. Well, this guy wasn't much cheaper, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with the actual Ikea, was it OEM parts or something? Like, original Kia parts, and they guarantee their work, and... Sorry, I need to clean. We need to clean the Kia, man. So, yeah, that was insane. I cannot show my hair. No wife leaves her husband if you love him. Yeah, but I also love myself, so I'm here to work on myself. Anyways, that's her business, right? Yeah, I want to have, like, a bed rot bees era. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Independent woman, that's the arc. Yeah. Docs. <laughs> Can't wait for the foodie videos. Yeah. I miss, honestly, I do miss, like, my, my content was, I don't know. We have to Pennington's bees. We have to do all the beesing. Like, in Kuwait, like, I liked living in a different culture. And I like, I, I like, like, both places. So it's, like, really hard for me. I feel very conflicted. Like, and I feel like an identity crisis a little bit. What is the saddest? Like, why was it depressing for you guys? Just because you, you guys are used to me having such an outgoing personality to being completely muted or what? <clears throat> That's what it was, right? I think a lot of it is cultural. I don't think it's, like, hot on to laugh at farts. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Have you seen sad? No, I was like happy there, but like, yeah, I feel like I wanna break free. <laughs> I wanna break free and eat chicken pot pie with some nashi. No, I have to get healthy, but first I need to like have a celebration. I miss driving. Like I love. I was driving down the the long road singing, I can see see you, <laughs> the boys of summer song. I'm, I don't have any plans to go back to Kuwait. I don't have a return ticket. I'm, I don't have any plans to go back to Kuwait. I don't have a return ticket. I'm getting a place here. Like, even if I, like, taking off your hijab? No, I can't. I'm not doing that. I want to come up with different hijab styles. Like a more Western hijab style. And when I'm over there, I dress in abayas and hijabs. Like, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> and I don't, I, I ate a non-halal chicken sandwich at the airport, by the way. I was so hungry because I was, like, after I didn't eat, like, anything on the plane, Air Canada, because of the fact that... Uh, my stomach was so bad so by the time i did so much walking my body feels so bad right now yeah you can decide what being muslim means to you it's personal exactly there's no compulsion in islam like they say you're not you know like certain things anyways it doesn't even say in the quran you have to wear a hijab on your head it's interpreted that way by scholars but mostly what it is verbatim it's like to cover make like loose clothing so you can't see the form of your body like don't dress like what we would call skank dress you know which I used to do. Yeah, but I don't miss that. I like to be covered up. Honestly, I do. I, I, I'm 40. I want to kind of start dressing my age. Not that if you want to dress, you know, like that when, when you're 60, that's no problem. But for me, I think I like, you know, like this stuff. Like, I don't know. No wine. I'm not going to drink alcohol. But uh, no. So I'm pretty much just going to bees around the bush. I'm going to take some pain meds. No, no. How many milligrams? Yeah, I can have one, one more pill. Because that's my brand is Foodie Beauty, you know? Pete's Bees, please. He's working. Zoe, I got back to Canada yesterday. Yeah, I'm staying in Canada for good. We should do a story based. <coughs> Boycotting, supposed to. So yeah, just, I came back here, at, like, for many reasons. Like, there's just, I don't even know how to give one answer. So, I go back and forth. You know how many times I've made this trip? Like, what, six? While I'm here, yeah, like, there's a relief, but at the same time, there's, like, a heartache a bit, you know? So, Yeah. Oh, well, that's life. I want to be somebody. I want to be somebody, Billy. So I'm going to go drive somewhere to have dinner and then... Whoa, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. The stupid thing. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got to lose weight. Yeah, yes, I'm getting Sam. And yes, I'm going to take very good care of him. His nails are not going to get too long. We're not over. No. Yeah, Sam is coming back. Yeah. My poor guy. Yeah. There's a tractor coming. I have been to Germany. Yeah. Not <laughs> only the German, the uh, Frankfurt airport. <clears throat> yeah, so Law and I are fine. Um, we, I didn't come here because anything to do with the relationship. I came here for, it's too hot Kuwait. I need health care. I miss driving. I miss beezing. I want to take a stab at my career in yodeling. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Julia, yeah, he's going to take care of Julia. And he'll just bring her here, you know, or if... And he'll just bring her here, you know, or if... He, if something happens and he can't, I will go back to Kuwait and get her. And just feel find out. Like, I'm overwhelmed with bringing... I am not healthy enough. Like, first of all, I can't have my own pet until I get my own place. So, right right then, where would she come right now, you know? Second, I'm barely well enough to take myself on this freaking journey. Stupid 17 and a half hour freaking travel day. Ugh! I legit, like, 
I can't even tell you. You're so tired. I took a red eye. My flight was at 1.45 a.m. So, like, it was, like, you're tired already. And then when you start falling asleep, they turn on the lights. It's like, you get, we got to Frankfurt at, like, 6 something in the morning. I was so tired. Then you have to walk around a huge airport, wait in a huge line for security. And then, like, it's just 18 hours. Yep. Because he can't just come here. Like, you know, it's very hard leaving him. It's not easy. Can we get stoned tonight? When I get my own place, we can have like a, I don't know, hamburgerized bees and no. <laughs> we can have like, you know, a hangout at nights. I can do like live streams like three times a day again. <laughs> Coffee bees, dinner bees, cooking bees, and night bees and Mario bees. No, I'm too nervous driving in Kuwait. I still have the same old CPAP. Yeah, I'm going to get food, Cassidy. They have healthcare, but it's expensive for like certain things. You should bring your play button home. Hey, Brenda, thank you. Lock my, I brought my play button home because I'm going to have it. I'm going to send it back and they're going to send me one that says foodie beauty <laughs> because the Miriam one is damaged. Like there was a dent in it. So they said if it's damaged, I can return it. They will send me a label. I return it. And then once they get it, they'll send me one back. I just waved at a farmer. <laughs> Bought by. Yeah, that's not halal though. There's not much halal stuff here. I might roll down the hill. Yeah. Because I'm dressed modest, I can do a modest workout rolling. <laughs> I know, I thought Foodie Beauty was dead. Well, some parts. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just trying to be positive. Like, it is hard, you know. When, like, sometimes I have to really try. Because I do, like, I miss a lot of things, you know. Both, yeah. What are buffalo balls? Yeah, nothing like the Western world. I don't know. There's a lot of things I miss about the East, too. And there's things I miss even about Thailand. Like, every culture has its pros, you know. Yes, if, you know, if we were over, I would tell you guys if I felt like it, but stop telling her to eat trash food, yeah. I feel like eating, like, junk, though. No, I'm kidding. Just don't become a potty mouth. I have lots of bad language. No, I'm not going to, no, yeah. I don't think I will. Ah, no. Obviously, Canada has better gravy. Yeah, well, obviously, they're going to be higher right now. I was gone for a while. A lot of love and support here. That's another reason, too, yeah. You know, I just felt like, what future do I have over there? I can't, like, in the summer, I can't go out like I guess if I worked really hard really hard I guess making a future for myself I need to be healthy like no matter what but there it was like a lot harder for me you know so I do have a lot more support here just wanted bees let's drive to orange julep and bees are you kidding I can't go live at orange julep people are gonna show up there they know where that is I can get some dog spray no, I'm just joking <laughs> that's illegal what are you even allowed to defend yourself with in Canada it's illegal to have everything it's like if someone's trying to kill you and you pepper spray them, you go to jail for the pepper spray and they go to jail for murder. But you still go to jail for the pepper spray. <laughs> so, I just, I feel I can't be weird in public there. That's the only thing. Carry a butter knife. Hey, remember that uh, the death of a cheerleader? The woman had a knife with her cucumbers in the car? Is that allowed? No. Eva's beauty. I couldn't, like, use an illegal weapon, though. That's my problem. I can't. I could never. Anyways, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I'm not leaving the Kia. So if you come up to me, I'm just going to drive away. Put putt. I don't pay the car payments. I know you guys think that, but I don't. So yes, I'll be fine. I'll just say I'm on a, I'm not going to Akron. I'm not going to Ohio. I'm not going anywhere where pot is illegal ever again. I'm not going anywhere where pot is illegal ever again. Thanks, no name. I'm not planning on going to Kuwait right now, no. Anytime soon. Take us. I'm not going, I'm not doing that travel journey anymore. Like I, I can't do it. Like the thousands of dollars spent back and forth. The, the 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 toll it takes on you mentally like every minute i'm just like okay just stay calm just stay calm in every lineup in every like uh it was just a lot of walking i'm not used to that and it, you know in germany airport you can't ask for help like I, i'm like is this shuttle is there like a shuttle service like they're like oh man you have to pre-book that it's like for people who are like disabled and you need to book it two days in advance so i was like okay <sighs> I have a bidet I took one with me. Salah got me one. <laughs> he thought of that too. See, that's what I miss about him. He thinks of things that I don't think of. There's things that you'll, you don't know and will never understand because I don't talk about it. But yeah, everything else. Yeah, he is thoughtful, you know, in, in a lot of ways. It's weird. I feel a bit lonely, but that's okay. I'm not going to run, keep running back. Like I have to like stick to my guns. Hope there's not a K-Bella 2.0. Me too. Do you know how hard it is when you've been through something like that with someone to trust them when you're away? So, obviously I'm dealing with that. But the thing is, is I'm not going to let it ruin, like, my time, you know? And that's really hard for me because that's all I 
sometimes want to focus on. So I have to force myself to like be productive and distract myself with other things and get used to this new reality. And it feels like I'm always getting used to a new reality. And it's like really mentally hard, you know, like I, I make my life harder on myself. I know what you need. I just want to talk about it. I just want to focus on positive things. No, if I ever, if something ever happened and I had to be single again, I would stay that way. I don't have any emotional energy to invest in something. I just don't, I, I can't do it. I don't want to. I don't. So happy with just good people around me. That's platonic. Fine. That's fine with me. I can't keep, not just age. I don't care. I, I can't keep doing it. My great grandfather fell in love at 89. I, out of respect for my relationship, because I know you, I want to address just this, that I know you, a lot of you can't comprehend how I could even, you know, ever forgive somebody like you forgive him for that or whatever but like i said i've evaluated on based on a lot of other things good things in a relationship and um you know i made that decision um that being said you know i'm also not going i'm also taking care of myself and not gonna like i'm always i always have my guard up in a way now you know so i also um just out of respect for my marriage i don't want to talk about like very personal things about a relationship or about salah you can, yeah, Jessica, you guys don't have to, like, you know, I know a lot of people, uh, bees are still like him, and he is really good to me in a lot of ways, and, you know, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna, like, talk personally about a relationship, I didn't do that really with Evie, right, I don't think so, um, well, maybe a little bit, but it's, when things are about me and how I'm feeling, it's hard not to talk about that, you know, but, yeah, I can't go through, I could never go through that again, no, I'm worlds away from my husband, yeah. So I'm, I'm sad about that, you know, because I really do love him, but I feel like I had to come back. But then whenever I get here, I'm so sad, and I miss Julia and Harry. You can't ever say goodbye enough, you know? But I hope I see her again someday. But I hope I see her again someday. It's fine with Salah for now. He's the cat dad. I feel bad. Whenever you have a pet, who, how do you decide who has custody? You know? Like, when I, when I moved out from Pete, he kept him bitten, and I kept the other cats. Like... But this cat, we got together, and he grew very, very close to her. We both did. We had her, like, nights every night. She would be laying on the bed. I'd be laying across the bed the other way. And she would lay right at, right by my head at his feet. And we would watch a movie. Because I'm more comfortable when I watch a movie, like, laying this way. And he's more comfortable this way. Julia's like this. And she watches TV with us. And, like, she yawns. And she and her breast goes, like, fishy moon. The pets are fine, half light. You're being dramatic for nothing. She's fine. I'm going to get her back. Harry Howington. Yeah, I want to get Harry Howington back. I couldn't bring them right now. There's no way. There's just no way. Hi, Phoenix. Where would they stay until I get my place? No. Oh. Well, Sheen Steakhouse, my ass. I'll be back, guys, so watch out. This is not self food, so don't be mad. But I need to eat this because I'm craving it bad. Comfort food is what it is. It makes me not be sad. You know what would make me happy if this stupid thing? Yes. Oh. So gravy. This is not what I want to do with my life. Okay. Don't say these things. I want to go back already, but I'm not going to. Okay. I got St. Hubert's. I don't want to eat in the restaurant for some reason. So I just took it to go. I got a strike before, but it only lasts 90 days. That's why it's gone. So if you can not strike my channel, that would be great. Oh, fries and gravy. Okay, I went through the drive-thru and I'm like, hey, can I order your pot? Is it going to be a huge pot pie in here? I'm like, hey, can I order your pot pie? They're like, you can. What am I going <laughs> to... Give me two forks. Probably think that it's going to be for two people. It's... It... No, it's one pot pie. No, because I have to take medications. And I need to drink water because of my diabetes. It's too hard. There's somebody coming. You're not required to fast if you have medical reasons. And you're just like, just an excuse, whatever. It's not. I mean, it is, yeah. But it's a valid one, you know. <laughs> I did at the beginning fast, yeah. But my health is different now. From last Ramadan to this one, <gasps> all a lot worse. I'm on medications now. I wasn't before. Our right, queen is back in Canada. We miss Julie now. I know, Mama Tanae. Me too. I really do. I'll be seeing her soon. I mean, I'll see her again soon, inshallah. Like, well one day i feel like like i have two two homes two families it's weird are we getting sam back yeah we are Aisha. <laughs> sam's neck beard <laughs> you're such a basement dweller sam you're such a basement dweller i can't wait to yell at him again 
a two leaf. The only thing I'm missing and there's a stain on my heart is for <laughs> my pets. I don't feel right. Like, I feel weird. I have to go home. <laughs> I feel like I've, like, been living that life too long. Now I miss that. Oh. <gasps> no. I forgot my Nashville chicken tenders. Those mother. I ordered two Nashville chicken tenders. <laughs> to go in my pot pie. Oh, I can't stand that. I hate when they get the order back. But I had a big lunch, though. <laughs> I have to, like, go home and go. I don't want <laughs> I know it's not Kuwait that was the problem. I was boring in Kuwait. I'm not. I wasn't physically well enough because of all the health issues I incurred on myself. Or else I could have done a lot more. I know I'm a ten. It's really sad. Yep, I know. Susie, I'm still. I'm looking for a place now. Decorating my new place. I'm going to Goodwill. <laughs> Honestly, first thing I'm just gonna order a bed and have like a really nice bed. I'm just bed rot when I'm at home. I don't need all kinds of furniture. I just need a bed and a chair for the kitchen. <laughs> so I'll just get those things. How are you going to forget my Nashville tenders, however? I'm going to go back there. I'm planning on staying in Canada. Hi, babe. Babe, I forgot my chicken tenders. <laughs> the chicky stew. I make my living off the evening news. Just give me something, something I can use. People love it when you lose. They love dirty laundry. Isn't that so true? <laughs> Howie, Julia, don't make me feel worse. I already feel heartbroken that I have to leave them. Trust me, this is so good. I can't stop eating. I want to get healthy. <laughs> the gravy ball. Do you know how easy it is to say that while you're eating something delicious? You know, yeah, I'm going to get... <laughs> this will satisfy me for life. I'm not going to eat any more junk. How's Julia and Howie? It's more complicated for him to come here than me to go there, but... I don't know. I miss my family there. <laughs> You know what it feels like? That I've moved on from my life here and now I'm like, it's not the same as before. I don't know, I'm just sad. So cheer me up! I'm just joking. I feel torn between both worlds. I wish I could live in both when I feel like it, you know? Babe, do you miss me? Do you ever feel like you need extra reassurance sometimes? She can pop by. In my car, this is sad. <laughs> I'll stink out your car. Yeah, I feel like a pig right now. Yeah, I feel like a pig right now. Being indecisive is not good for you. Oh my god, there's too much good food here. No. Honestly, I was, like, I needed that break. Like, that was a godsend. That was divine intervention, okay? I'm not kidding. I was getting really involved in the talk. I was getting becoming really toxic, and I was like, you know what? I can focus on moving. I can focus on anything else. I never got divorced. When did I get divorced? I'm in my car drinking gravy in the dark. Yeah, that's a different thing I know. So what would I do without you, babe? Why did I leave in the middle of Ramadan? Why not? If I get on a Zempic, maybe it'll make your diet goals easier. Thanks, Sophie. I have to talk to a doctor. Yeah. I seem happier. I don't see it. It's so weird. Like, I understand people being happy that I'm here, but, like, it's like people really are happy. Like, they want me to live, like, I don't know. I just feel sad all of a sudden. I feel homesick for Kuwait. I miss sleeping with someone. <laughs> I'm so I'm the worst person. Drinking gravy is healthy? No. Well, I never did anything in Kuwait. That's why it was boring. I'm sure I could have made it interesting. Yeah, I have no lights in here. Hi, Nadia. They want you to bash the law. That's what they want. No, it's not going to happen. I love him. He's my husband. He's an amazing man. He's not perfect. But amazing nonetheless. Go get the tenders. <laughs> It's scary out here right now, man. Like, you guys can't see me. This is BS. I should just come back when the setup's better. You guys are only... <gasps> is my battery dead now? I'm stranded here. Excellent party, isn't it? <coughs> oh, yeah. The box scratcher is gone. When I have a place, we can do what we want. I don't know why you guys thought I was, like, super miserable there. I wasn't super miserable. Like, there's things I miss about both places, so. I was like, I don't know. I, I can't explain it, you know. I don't play Zelda. I seemed bored. Yeah, I mean, that's my fault, you know. But the summer there, I can't really do much. It just feels weird to me. Like, for the past 
year and a half, I was always sleeping. Like, I always had, like, I had my family there in, like, Kuwait and, like, you know, have my routine, have my spot on the bed where I always lay, like, a seal. Yeah, but imagine being broke, but you can afford an expensive trip to Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is expensive. I didn't go out in the winter either, no. I got St. Hubert's and I wish I didn't. Thank you. I, I love Pennington's here. <laughs> Every time I go to Kuwait, I miss Pennington's. <clears throat> if I live in Kuwait, I'm without Sam. If I live in Canada, I'm without Julia. That's just weird. And I'm without Salah. Like, it's just weird for me. No, I'm, I'm supposed to stay in Canada. Like, I can't change everything. I'm already very deep into this. <laughs> I miss my husband and my cat and my owie, maybe. I'm kidding. Sorry to have had some traveling now. It's gonna be hard, yeah, at first, yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. Why are people trying to, like, you know, dictate if I should be married or not? It's my life to live, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Sorry, guys, my life is so, like, back and forth. I know it's hard to follow, but, like... Anyway, it does cause conflict in my heart a lot. And now I'm depressed and I just want to sleep. Or go for a long drive and just think about stuff. Did you hear my stomach? I gotta go get my missing tenders. I'm not going- I'm not gonna go in there and be like, I'm missing my tenders! I don't even know if I have my receipt. Oh yeah, I do. Do they charge me for that? <laughs> Let's find out. I don't know I'm not gonna say how they were. I'm not sure where I'm living. Two Nashville fillets. And I can't go back there now because the box and everything, I'm finished eating. <laughs> everything fell on the ground. They didn't give it to me though. Maybe they know this and I can go back. I don't think I'm gonna go back. Nah, no, forget it. I'm gonna go for I think I'm gonna go for now. What do you, I don't know what, like, I, what do you mean be myself? I don't know. I feel like I've just changed, like, too much to be, to try to be how I was, you know? What I'm, what is, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, Melly. I really don't. It's just hard getting used to not living with your husband every day. Like, as husband and wife, like, being apart, you know? It's not all I did in Kuwait. When I was well, we went a lot of places. Mostly on the couple's channel, but... I haven't been well in a long time. And I've been just listening to negativity, that's why. I would rage, it's not healthy, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, maybe I'm just still recovering from a freaking flight. Oh, why, why do you have to be across the world? Why, why do you and Julia and Howie have to be across the world? No, I'm not going back to Kuwait. I know, I always flip-flop. I always flip-flop. I just don't feel the same like when I did before I moved. There's something way different and weird. No, you can't expect to be happy every minute. I'm just not like, before I came here, I was so sure. I was so sure I wanted to move back here. And now that I'm gone, I feel so sick. Like I felt like like going to the airport, like the pain in my heart and like, like saying goodbye to Julia. Now it's just hard, you know? So. I know, Millie, I'm just, I'm so, because I wish I, I don't know, it's like, that's what I mean, I feel torn. Ugh. This is not what I expected to happen right now. It's not the same. It's not just getting him here, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, anyway, I just, I can't talk about it because I don't know how I feel. It's weird. Anyway, I'll be okay, I'm just going through like a hard time. I don't know how to make people understand how I feel when I'm not even sure of myself, you know? It's like, what's wrong with me? <sighs> calm down, calm down. Yeah, but not from the, it's the, <laughs> it's not like that. It's just like, I don't know what it is. It's like, like I said, I'm just torn. I can't explain it. Thanks, Millie. Thanks, everybody. <sighs> I want more Popeye. <laughs> no, I'm full-ish. <sighs> I should go get some sleep or... Go for a ride, maybe. I don't. I don't feel like sleepy. I just feel down a bit. That's all. Thanks, your W. I gotta recover. Friggin' recover. Look at Carla. Good night, guys. Bye. Love you guys. Thanks for listening to me.